All right, this is a Gold Zen VOD review. Start by looking at the comp uh, on King's Row. You're running a Widow in gold. Gold Widows tend not to get too many kills because if they could get consistent kills as Widow, they probably wouldn't be in gold. Um, and Widow tends to be like a really high risk hero. Either she gets like a million kills and is incredible because she lands all the headshots or she does absolutely nothing. And at your SR, it's much more likely that she does absolutely nothing. But, uh, whatever. Um, the Widow's gonna play Widow. It's, you're not gonna make them change. Like, you can ask, but they're probably not gonna change. Um, you have a Reinhardt, which is good. You have a Soldier, which is okay, because Soldier does a lot of low... Like, it, he's not bursty. He does damage, but it's, like, slow. And then in Ana meta... Um, you end up just feeding the Ana ultimate because they take like damage over like freaking forever. They get down like half health and then you grenade them back up or like you shoot them twice and then you have a bunch of ultimate. So the soldier's not great. I'd rather run a second tank because you only have one tank it looks like. Um, you have the Reinhardt and that's good, but you want another tank. You have a Reaper, which is a lot of damage. Reaper is really good with Ana and you have Ana. He's just a really good hero. So your comp isn't great, but like it's good enough because you have a Reinhardt, you have an Ana, you have a Reaper, and you have two healers. Um, if this Widow gets kills, it'll work out. Right out of the gate. Okay. okay. Yeah, right out of the gate. Literally right out of the gate. You s separate yourself from your Reinhardt. Don't do that. Um, there's usually stuff spam being thrown down here. There's like a McCree. He's going to be like peeking and spamming. There's a Pharah. She's going to be spamming. There's... What else? Like a junk rattle spam this, a May will spam this. Um, this lane right here is very dangerous. Don't be in it as without your Reinhardt. Um, and your Reinhardt's on the other side of the bus, so like you need to be on that other side of the bus. Especially since like let's say your Reinhardt needs to put down a shield to like recharge or something. If you take cover on the right side, the angle that you have to take to hide from the point is like way sharper than the angle you have to take if you're on the left side. Because if you're on the left side, like let's say you're on the left side of the bus, you're hiding from this area here, and then the wall is like this. So you can stand like here, or like here even, and like you're still in cover from this section. But since the point is like way over here, like the angle that you have to take, you have to stand like here to be in proper cover, which is nuts. Like that's so far away. Um, whereas if you're on the left side, like you can take cover way more easily. So I generally think the left side is safer. Um, maybe some people disagree with that, but especially since your Reinhardt is on the left side, you should be over there. Oh, it might happen. Oh, too. also, uh, you could have charged a right click as you were coming out and just thrown it out once you get here. Would have got to kill on the on, but that's a really big deal because on is like. Part of the healing. So, what I was saying earlier about the spam and the Reinhardt shield, that just happened. Reaper behind. Stand the spam line. Um, it's a good thing you noticed that Reaper. Or someone noticed that Reaper. It's a good thing that Roadhog doesn't suck. Kill sure. the Reaper, so you're up two kills right now. They're missing like the most DPS out of any hero in the game, which is Reaper. Besides Bastion. They're missing like the, the most good DPS. And they're missing a ton of heals. Uh, okay, fuck. <laughs> um, I need to get better at this. Um, so you're up two. You need to go in. You should have gone up in when you were up one, but whatever. Wow. Okay. So much stuff happened in like that last ten seconds. We're gonna back up because a lot of shit happened. So. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah. Wow. You're up three because you killed the Ana. The Ana's probably back by now. Uh, but you killed the Ana, and then you killed the Reaper, and then you killed the Pharah. So three of their people have died. The Ana's either back or very close to back. So it's a good thing that you guys are going in, but you probably even waited too long. Um, but yeah, you see the Zarya, you Discord. Too dead. Too dead on their side. So, okay. Right here, you're like, oh, there's a Zarya over there. Zarya can kill you. But not if she's dead. So... There's uh, your Widow's over there, your over there, your Reinhardt's over there, and your Ana's over there. So there's four people that are potentially staring at this Zarya, and she's still alive. 
that can't happen. Like, that Zarya needs to be dead right now. Because if Zarya stays alive, she builds ultimate. Zarya has, like, the scariest ultimate ever, besides Nano. But, like, Zarya's ultimate is scary by itself. Nano needs, like, other stuff. Like, Graviton can just, like, solo wipe your team. Um, go kill that Zarya. Oh, oh, and then, and then also, like, this hasn't happened yet. There we go. Okay. So here, you're, like, going into this hotel, because you're like, oh, hotel. Whatever. Um, your Reinhardt is in the path going to the point. You need to be with your Reinhardt. Especially since there's, like, people over here. There's a ro Okay, there's a Roadhog over here. Like, Roadhog can just hook you, and, like, you're fucking dead. Don't try to kill this Roadhog. Run away, because you're not going to win a 1v1. Well, not even 1v1, a 1v3 against a Roadhog, a Mercy, and an Ana. Like, there's no way you kill these three heroes as Zenyatta by yourself. Go to your team. You managed to get out, which is good, but it's, like, incredible that you didn't die. And that Zarya is still hurting your team because you didn't punish her. So, like, I don't know what her energy's at. It looks pretty low. But, like, that's maybe, like, 500 damage it's been so long. Maybe she's done, like, 500 damage to your team that, like, didn't need to get done because she could be dead. And, like, if you had killed her, you probably have, like, full ultimate right now. So, like, basically, like, if someone's, like, staring at your team, like, super way overextended, punish that. They have no business being over there. Um, and now your Reinhardt's by himself. I don't know why you charge there. That's a bad charge, because he's hiding from you as a healer, and he's hiding from your Ana. No one can Whatever. hide. And now you're... Okay, so when I was saying Reinhardt was hiding from you, now you're hiding from him. You needed to be moving to the right so you get an orb on him, because right now he's not receiving healing from you. Um, yeah. That, you try to save the Reaper, who's like way deep, but I actually think that Reaper's just dead. Like, um, like I, I guess it's good that you put the orb on him, because he does need healing, but I think your Reinhardt needs healing more. And that Reaper's so far overextended, I'd actually be surprised if he even lives. Yeah. And also there's a health pack over there too, yeah. So... I think you're gonna lose this fight. Yeah, you're definitely gonna lose this fight. So like... You went up... Three kills, like it was a 6v3. Because you said you guys didn't go together, it wasn't really a 6v3, it was like a... Four and a half... V3 because you weren't together. So stick together and you'll do better. I don't know, it's really unfortunate that you lost that fight, but your Reaper's positioning was horrible. Your positioning was like, okay, it's kind of bad actually. Oh, and sorry, I actually had a point when I was saying like you guys lost the fight. Um, once they res, like there's no way you win that fight because your Reinhardt's dead, he's your only tank. Like, as soon as they res, you should be like, oh shit, like there's no way we win because they have numbers on us and bad news and i'm a zenyatta so i have like i'm very squishy you need to make a call right then and there i'm either going to die on point and try to get a kill before i die or i'm going to retreat back into spawn anything in between is just going to stagger your death i probably would have retreated in this case but you went the long way around the statue and like you didn't retreat fast enough so you end up dying uh, dead. but basically know. like when the fight is lost, get out. There's no need to stay in, because like you lost that fight way before you actually died. Now your Reinhardt goes off by himself. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to go with the Reinhardt there or not. Like that's kind of a tough call, because on the one hand you want to save your Reinhardt, on the other hand your Reinhardt's in a terrible spot, because um, he's all alone. If he was with the team, like it'd probably be okay to be there, but like because he was by himself. Uh, yeah. You act, you see, so your Ana's in a really good spot right now. She can uh, get to the health pack. She can take cover behind this statue, and she can see the point. But she can also very easily make it so that she is in cover from the point. Um, where you are right now, when your Reinhardt was over by the side, you couldn't see him. And so that's heal that he's not getting. Uh... This, like, section right here is, like, the best spot for healers to be. Oh, and that Zarya, I think that's the first time that Zarya died. And, like, you could have killed her right at the beginning. Find the shield. But you're gonna take it because of the double kill that you sold your daughter earlier. 
Um, you're not behind the shield, even though there's no reason to not be behind nice. the shield. Ult up. You guys burned two DPS assaults for no reason. Um, I, like, obviously you didn't do that, but like, players on your team did. Don't extend too far. Don't extend stay with the uh, Just, like, after you cap the point, you don't need to spend ults, you already capped it. You use ults to cap the point. Your guys are overextending, but you're actually overextending. By, oh. Hey, yeah, there's the punish. So, like, um... If your teammates are in a situation where, like, they're extra vulnerable, don't try to save them, because they're probably going to die. Like, if if your teammates are in a situation where... Or rather, if you... if In order to save a teammate, you need to put yourself at risk, or, like, very high risk of dying, it's probably not even worth it to save that teammate. Um, like, you would have been safe on the cart. You could heal... You actually probably heal your teammates just as well from the cart, because, like... They were hiding from you, so it's not like you can heal them anyways. Um, and at this point, since the card is so early, like even if they die, they're just gonna respawn and like get back to you. The card isn't even that far forward. So like your teammates dying there isn't even that big a deal. Um, and like obviously it's not it's for the same reason it's not that big a deal that you die, but like you wanna not die, ideally. Um so don't Try to save a teammate that's like way overextended and like will put you at risk. Which I guess is like the answer to my question earlier about should you go with the Reinhardt that's going by himself or not? The answer is no. Don't go with the Reinhardt going by himself. Because it's risky. Stay with the payload, they have a numbers advantage. Repetition is the path. You get a kill on the auto, it's a big deal. And you leave your Alright, they burn two ultimates. You're down six V or I think it's like five V three. Um that's a lost fight. Go back to spawn. Wow. You're peeking out, peeking in the line of fire, way out of cover. You could you should be dead right now. If their junk rat had shot one more bomb at you earlier, like you'd be dead right now. And then you would have staggered your death even more, and that would have been really bad. And now you're peeking back in the spam lane again. Don't do that. And McCree died because he was off by himself. Uh, your Reinhardt needs to be still pushing here. I don't know why I said it. Good transcendence. Good job. Save your team. Go get him, go get him! That's what we need yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if you saw that. The soldier had like 70 health. He had like two bars or something. And... Like, you didn't heal him. He probably still would have died because he ate a direct Junkrat rocket. Or Junkrat bomb thing. And that does like 120 damage or something. Something ridiculous. So he probably still would have died, but you would have gotten a bit of ult on it off of him. And like, maybe he doesn't die there if you heal him up. Uh, it... <sighs> I think you're losing this fight, but your Reinhardt just got a double, so maybe you're not losing this fight. And you're probably gonna kill this Junkrat. But like, in my books you should lose this fight. Your Reinhardt completely abandoned you, and that's a nice kill on the Reaper. Um, so, I don't know how close you were watching. You were, you were watching the kill feed, maybe you were just like more aware than me. Um, but in that situation, I would be playing a lot more back. Like, you're sort of on the front half of the cart. You almost want to be like as far back as possible while still pushing the cart. Because, like, shit's scary. There's like spam coming at you. There's fair rockets and like those are scary. Um. Okay, this is another thing. You can be charging a right click right now. down. Tyrant coming. And like earlier, you could have been charging a right click. If there's nothing to shoot at, just charge a right click and then, like, okay, we're gonna back up. Um, you're not doing anything. Just start charging a right click. And then when you see that fair, you can release your right click and she, maybe she dies because it's a lot of damage on the right Shield's click. Shield's almost down. Here you can be charging a right click when you hear a fire in the hole. Um, and then when the tire comes out, like, you can just insta kill it. And your soldier dies. But maybe if you charge your right click, you could have killed it. You're on a standing in the spam line. Oh, this is a good position. So, okay, where you're standing right now, 
if you're this is such a good spot to be standing because like let's say your team okay well, okay i take that back it was a really good spot to be standing and then your team went stupid um and left you there <laughs> if your team was where they should be which is over here then it would be a good spot to stand but i don't know what your team is doing is that a sleep dart on the don't wake them up, don't wake them up. yeah don't wake them up <laughs> don't wake them up you don't need that kill and if you do wake them up try to like kill them with a right click because you can do all the damage in one shot instead of uh waking them up so that yeah but not only did you wake up the person you're now walking towards them which is pretty scary because like, if you Lucky that you're outside of the range, but those are good headshots. And that's like a wasted ult from the Reaper. I don't think I've seen a good Reaper ult this game. Like, okay, so here you can be charging a right click. But yeah, sorry. I was saying, like, your positioning was good there, in theory, because you're in cover from where the enemy team should be. You can see where your whole team would be. Um, I mean, that's basically it. And uh, you can easily, like, peek out around that corner and, like, back in and out and back in and out. You can see flankers. Like, the obvious flank route is right there, so you can see it. Um, it's just gen That's just generally a good spot to stand in that scenario, but then your team ran away, so you want to go with them. Uh, if your tanks aren't in front of... Like, if your tanks aren't between you and the enemy, you need to put them between you and the enemy. And, like, you, it's their job to stand between you and the enemy, but, like, if they're not doing that, you need to put yourself somewhere where you're safe. Um, and, like, here you could be charging a right-click. Or maybe that Pharah dies if you were charging a right-click. You might have hit on her. I don't know what your aunt is doing. She needs to come back. Uh, ooh, okay, I was gonna say, like, you need to run the hell away. Because that's the Nano Boosted Reaper, but then you're right, I've got a sticker shatter and then. But he needs to come back because you can't see them, whatever. You get the res off. I would retreat at this point. Um, you're like in front of your DPS. So your DP okay, your DPS are doing the smart thing and like being in cover. Uh and you're not. <laughs> Although I don't know. I, I disagree with that. I definitely disagree with this honest positioning because she's all alone. I kind of disagree with this McCree's positioning. Like he's in cover, which is good, but he could probably be like next to you and behind that wall. And he'd A, be safer and well, like, he wouldn't be safer. He'd be just as safe, but like he'd be closer to the team and he'd also have better line of sight for the cards. If he did it. But you're standing in the spam line again. That's bad. And like, you're 80 80 which is good, because it makes you harder to hit, but you could be 80 80 around a corner, which makes you even harder to hit. Uh, yeah. Here, you're not shooting anything, you can charge a right click. Oh, you're a Reaper, oh my god. Um, I guess Reaper Q is pretty good. I'll give you my ultimate. God damn. You just need three on the payload. The fuck? Okay. Your <laughs> Reaper just like a lock for the best queue. Um. So I don't know if you knew that you only had three bullets left, or orbs left, or whatever. Three rounds left. Uh. Actually, no. You should have reloaded there. You were in between fights. You could have easily reloaded. Um. Like, there's no reason not to. And uh, also, you could have been. Or wait, am I? Yeah, like there's no one around. So you, if when you were in between fights, you could have reloaded. And then, uh, yeah, and then with the Farah thing, I don't know if you knew that you had three rounds left, and you were maybe you were like, okay, I'm gonna shoot these three rounds, and then uh, I'm gonna reload and then shoot some more. Or if you were just like, oh crap, I ran out of ammo. Um, but if you knew that you had three rounds left, you could have charged up a right click because you can charge up a right click with one round left and still shoot out all the orbs and kill the Pharah like that instead of running out of ammo. Oops. It's a bit of Xenalt, you got Graviton, oh my gosh. save your team. <laughs> got Reaper behind him. 
And then you're doing a really good job of like moving backwards so that you're like at healing range from your team, but not push up on the doors, push up where on the doors. Need to be. Um, so man, you're like that? sitting that on the cart, tight, which is good. Like you're pushing the cart, which is good, but you don't need to sit actually on the cart. Like you want to be as far back as possible while still pushing the cart because like it's more cover. Really playing Zenyatta just like, or supports in, in general, comes down to like, be in cover. If you're not in cover, that was sick, man. They're I not really die, but punishing I'm you alive, much man, for not being in cover. Um, Probably but, because like, you of could have easily had a zero death game at this point. <laughs> You're solo healing a Zen, is which is not form. great. Uh, yeah, Zen is not great to solo heal. You're also running two actual defense heroes and one hero that's basically a defense hero. So like, your comp is basically completely dependent on like them never making it through that choke point. Like. You're running so much spam. In like, okay. This comp is either gonna work incredibly well and they're not gonna come in at all, or you're gonna get shut down instantly. But that's not a risk you need to take, because you finish the map with a minute 33 left. Understood. You can run like a conventional comp. Like, you could have run the same comp you ran on offense, and you probably would have been way better off. Good job charging at the right click. I like it. You're already learning. <laughs> um, I like your positioning here. You can sort of see where people would be if they were reasonable. Um, and uh, you can easily get behind cover. I got somebody up top. Looks like Genji. Got a call out. I don't know what your Reinhardt's doing. Here you're pushing a little forward. I want you to probably better off staying in the corner. This Lucio's running Lucio. in. Okay. This is good positioning again because you're in cover, but now you're moving out of cover. Like, you see them in the choke? You're Zenyatta. You don't want to be, like, taking damage. Stick to your Reinhardt and, like, play the corner. You're, like, Discord. in the wide open. You want to be in the back line. Um, you kind of. Okay. This is a weird thing. This isn't, I don't know what. how to describe this, but, like. So, where's Genji? On a Discord. Genji's yeah. behind you, okay. And you're like, oh shit, there's a Genji behind me. So you go to turn around. And then your Ryan also turns around. I don't know if you were expecting him to turn around or not, but he does. Genji in the back line. I don't think he should have, but like, okay, so your Reinhardt's like, oh crap, I'm gonna go kill this Genji. Um. Right now, their team is standing in the choke. Like, their team is like team is like over there somewhere right um and they can probably see you because you're in the open uh and that's really bad <laughs> whereas so like you can't just if you're shooting at the choke and like you go to kill something behind you if you just turn around they can still see you in the choke because you could see them you need to go to cover and then Turn around, I guess, is what I'm saying. Like, you wanted to... Pen. You wanted to move, like, over to here. So that you could shoot at the Genji without getting bopped. Because instead you walk in a straight line. Like this. To here. Um, you're just walking in the line of sight of the enemy. And actually, there might even be an enemy by the statue at this point, like, over there, or, like, more, like, over, like, there. I don't know how to draw an arrow to it, but, like, over by the statue. You know what I mean. Um, and if there's an enemy by the statue, like, you're in double line of sight. 
So like not only can they see from the choke, they can also see from the statue. If you were over here, you'd be safe. And like so right now there's like four enemies directly behind you. Or like there were four enemies directly behind you. I don't know where they went. It was like extremely risky what you just did. And there's shots flying past your head. Right now you're in the line of sight of the choke, but you're not looking at the choke, so someone could have snuck up on you. And that's just like the same thing as I just mentioned. Just... Oh, that was way too close. That was way too close. Um, so that's like exactly what I was talking about. You're like staring and you're standing in line of sight of the choke, but like you're not saying the choke. Okay. Um, and then you're doing it again, except slightly differently. You know there's a Roadhog behind you. I guess instead of thinking of it as being in line of sight of the choke, you can think of it as like being in line of sight of a threat where like sometimes the threat is the choke because there just tends to be people in the choke, but sometimes the threat is the is a Roadhog that's standing behind you. And like there's a Roadhog behind you right now, like you know he's there, you just saw him go over there and you can't see him and that's really, really bad. Um, but like because of where you're standing, you can't just turn around and deal with him because you would stop dealing with a Reinhardt. So like what I was saying earlier, like if you're going to go turn around and deal with something, you have to get to cover. Same thing here, except instead of trying to get to cover, like you can't really get to cover from both of these, but you need to, but you need to like position yourself in such a way so that you, neither of them can surprise you with like a sudden kill. Um, basically you just like never want stuff to be behind you, but realistically your options are like go over there towards this like doorway. Or your options that, or your other options like go over here towards what the hell is that arrow? Go over there towards the arch. Um, the doorway is probably better because the roadhog is behind you, like somewhere over here, either on the right side when you went into the hotel, or on the left side when you went into the hotel. And if he's on the left side in the hotel and you go over here, then he's just going to be in your face and you're probably going to die. Um, so going over there is probably the best bet. You still have these two massive threats that you have to deal with, but like you can actually be potentially in a position to deal with them. It's not like they can surprise you from behind and like hook you and kill you without you seeing. Uh, so yeah, you need to be moving like over to safety. And then you got hooked and died because he was on your right. But I think you have teleport. So it's okay. But like, you were in a 2v1 there and your team kind of left you completely alone, which they seem to be doing a lot. But you ran out of triple, Jeez. so it all worked out. Um, that teleporter, man. But like, you can't... It's insane. Rather, if there's stuff behind you, and like you know there's stuff behind you, try to move and put yourself in such a position so that this stuff isn't behind you anymore. Sorry, this Discord. If that makes sense. Um. Yeah. Okay. You're. Just in case. Let's back up. This is another thing. You're on the left side. You should be on the right side. There's more places to retreat on the right side if you get in a sticky situation. Like if a Winston jumps over the top and starts attacking you, you want to be able to retreat to the right because your Anna's on the right. Your. Uh. There's just more cover on the right, like the enemies aren't over there and they can't see you when you hide behind this building. Whereas if you go to the left, they can still see you from this side over here and like it's just harder to get into cover. Um, if you're on the right side, it's easier to fall back, easier to retreat. It's safer and also your Reinhardt seems to be favoring the right side, which is not something that you would know beforehand, but he is. And uh, because the Reinhardt's taking cover on the right side, like right now you're not being protected by him. And the Winston jumps in, he gets melted because he's completely alone, but like, if, uh, if that Winston wasn't so garbage, you uh, could have died there, essentially. Like if that Winston had support, you kind of would have been wrecked because you had nowhere to fall back to. Ryan is lit. Sorry, you're on the right side, and you're just way safe. Left side, left um, side. Yeah, and so like also they can go into the alley. This is another thing about not letting stuff go behind you. If you're on the left side and they go into the alley, suddenly you're face to face with the enemy. There's no way for them to get 
sneak up on you on the right side. Um, your Reinhardt's going over to the left, and so now your Reinhardt's like stuck over there. And in order to save him, you had to like put yourself in a risky situation, which, although, I guess you didn't actually have to like, because from like. By the way, I like the way that you went around the statue instead of going straight across. You're staying in cover. It's good. Because if you go straight across, like you're like, oh crap, there's Red Dog there. He's going to hook me. You went around the back, staying in cover. It's good. It's yeah. so like right here, you can throw an orb on this Reinhardt. You don't need to get any closer than that. You don't need to actually leave cover to save this I'm Reinhardt. But you keep moving forward, and then there's a Red Dog in your face. So you had like the right idea. You just overstepped it like a tiny bit. And like a lot of stuff I'm saying like isn't. Usually, let's just like optimization. Save the Reinhardt with your ult. Okay, dude. Um, I don't even know if you should save this Junkrat. Like, this Junkrat's way out of position. You're kind of putting yourself in a risky spot by going to save him. Your Reinhardt already got out, and like the holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna get to the Widow in a second. Um. Actually, this is going to save up the Widow, but uh, your Reinhardt got out. He was the target that you really want to save because he's your only tank. The Junkrat, like you have four DPSs, four DPSs, saving a Junkrat is not your top priority. Saving yourself is. Um, so you save your Reinhardt, like the Reinhardt gets out, you save him with your ult. Good job. But uh, the Junkrat doesn't even need to be saved. And the Roadhog, like... Okay, yeah. dude, relax. Dude. Other end gets trapped, okay. But the Roadhog, like, was staring at you before, and then, like, left to go alt, and then gets nano boosted or whatever. But if he hadn't done that, like, if he had actually remembered that, like, oh, hey, there are only healers over here, um, he could have easily just hooked you, and you would have died. And, uh... Yeah, if you hadn't... Once your Ryan got out, like, you could have just run away. And you're invulnerable, because you're in Zenal. And then, so here you're doing the thing again where you're like in line of sight of the choke. But like you can't see it. So there could be someone standing in the choke that you can't see. And actually, there is someone standing in the choke that you can't see as a Widow. There could be like a Widow over there that you can't see. And then you like peek out, like you're staring at a Widow. You could be dead right now. So, yeah. Um... And then now you're like moving back into line of sight of the widow, or if you went to if you went to the left, you'd still be in cover. I think you're so you're doing a really good job of sticking to your Reinhardt, and you're actually doing like too good a job. You don't need to stick to your Reinhardt so much as you do need to just be able to know where your Reinhardt is and see your Reinhardt. You don't need to be like next to him. You just need to be able to see him. Um and so like here you're taking cover, you're not really in cover, like you're still pretty wide in the open. Um, that was <laughs> that was super clutch that you popped your ult. Normally it's bad to pop your ult to save yourself, but there's 10 seconds left, and if you just survive, then you win. So, yeah, definitely worth the pop ult. Uh, there's nothing you can do there, because you're the only one contesting the point. And you're like your whole team completely abandoned you, and I'm sorry that that won't happen. And I think that was like the only death, but that was probably like the only death. In fact, like I'm certain that was the only death this game that was like, there's nothing else you can do. GG. Because that was. What is that? Three wins in a row for us yeah. now? I mean, you still. Okay, so you played Four? like. I guess, you still played that game really well. Um, Your orbs were good. You didn't have any alts that were like absolutely garbage. Um, All your alts were actually like really good. Um, your harmony orb was good. Like your healing was like definitely your your healing was really strong. Um, your discord orb was good enough. Your left clicks were good enough. You don't right click enough, but that's not a big deal. And like, it's an easy fix. Uh, the main thing is positioning and like using cover, effectively. Um, and just try to like when you're in engagement try to think like am i standing in the best place possible can something see me that i can't see stuff like that 
And, uh... Yeah, also, like, backing out of lost fights. You could have easily had one death that game, and that would have been at the very end, when, uh, that Roadhog... There was, like, a 3v1 on you. Um... And that's, like, the only death that, like, absolutely needed to happen because your team completely abandoned you and you were in a 3v1 on the point where they all should have been. All should have been. Uh, yeah. What else? What was the other big thing? Um, when you see an enemy that's way out of position and, like, inside of your team, just kill them. Like, just kill them. Don't let people live that don't deserve to live. 